<coughs> so I have started the recording. Okay. So the agenda of uh, today's session is like I I will give some uh, theoretical knowledge about the RPA. Right. After that, I will show you the live demo as well, so that you people will get a crystal and crisp idea about how RPA is and how it works. Right. So. We'll start with the uh, and and today we have gathered to discuss about the UI path specifically. But if you have doubt with any of the other tool uh, with uh, like RPA, for example, UI path automation anywhere, Blue Prism, Power Automate, right? Please discuss it and make the session interactive. Ask as many as questions you have uh, in in your mind. It will help you. It will and uh, at the same time it will help others as well. I'm compatible with Marathi, Hindi, and English. Okay. Uh, so, if you want to speak in any of the language, perfectly fine. Okay. So, we'll we'll start here about the UI path. Okay? But before starting the UI path, right? I want to explain uh, this slide to everyone. Right. So, what this slide is explaining? It's explaining the difference between the the legacy technologies, okay, uh, versus the RP. Right. So, those called as a MVC, it's called as a model view controller. So, what are the scripting language are there? JavaScript. C sharp script, PB script, for example, right? Or or it might be front end, back end, integration, right? Those things will will come into the part of the MVC. So nowadays, if you want to uh, get a job in a software industry, basically, right? So it is not the case like you 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 can get a job easily, right? You should have the knowledge of uh, front end, back end, integration. Basically, you should be a full stack developer. Then only industry is, is looking for such people. Okay, so here you need a more coding no knowledge. You require a very uh, hands-on knowledge on on the coding side, basically. And now, after doing all the things, right? All the things, just see how much demand is available. Right. So the demand is less, but there are huge crowd is available uh, in, in, into the market. So. Here demand is less, okay, but the supply is more, right? So even though you are going to start your career with this technology, not sure about your uh, future, right? Not sure about your compensation, not sure about your dreams, right? But on the other hand, if you are going to start uh, your journey with with the RPA, right? So RPA is a uh, what I can say the trending technology into the market. Maybe you people have heard about the digital transformation, right? So every organization. Nowadays, okay, not only the software industry, it might be the any industry like banking, finance, insurance, uh, telecom, petroleum, oil and gas, healthcare, uh, then mechanical, chemical, electrical, electronics, automotive, right? Any industry they want to go for the digitization, right? Digital transformation rather than I can say, and the RP is the starting point for the digital transformation, right? So it is a it is a starting point, right? So if you are going to a part of this journey, right? So just think about your future pro perspective. Just think uh, from your technology point of view as well. Okay. <clears throat> also, as I said, uh, digital transformation is is a uh, is a uh, RP is a starting point for digital transformation. So now every industry they want to automate their task, right? They want to automate the task because of a lot of reasons that I will explain in the, in the further uh, slides. So just imagine how much demand is available here, okay? How much demand is available because it's not strict to only the software industry. So the demand is huge, but the supply is less, okay? Into the market, if you go and see, there are less people are available with such skill. So obviously there is a huge demand, but the supply is less. So people are getting a very good uh, opportunity into this industry in terms of compensation, in terms of their future, in terms of growth as well. Okay. So that is the reason I want to explain this slide here. Now we'll we'll move to the next slide. I will just finish two to sl three slides and then I will ask the questions to you people. Very well you can ask uh, the questions you have in your mind. Okay. So what is RPA, right? The RPA means robotic process automation. So normally what happens whenever we are going to uh, talk about the robots, the hardware robot will come in front of us, right? But this is not a case here. We are going to uh, talk like a so about the software robots, okay? Those are the software robots. So what do you mean by uh, robotic process automation? Like is any process which is done by the robots, 
without the human intervention, it's called as a robotic process automation. So it might be any any process in terms of software industry, in terms of any other industry, right? But we can automate the task, right? Or we can automate the software, right? Uh, basically, uh, by using the R. Okay, so this is about robotic process automation. Now we'll move to the next slide. This slide actually I'm keeping for the people who are joining from the testing background, software testing background. But today we don't have any representation uh, from the uh, like the software testing background. So I will I will not go into this slide. Then the next is very, very important slide. Okay. So we have to focus on this slide. Like who can learn the RP? Right. So a lot of people are coming to us for, for uh, by asking such type of questions like uh, I don't have the programming skills. Can I learn the RPA? Definitely. Definitely we can learn the RPA because here we no need to write the line of code, right? We no need to do a uh, exhaustive coding here, right? So that's the reason anyone from the any industry, right, can learn uh, this particular tool. Then the next question is, I'm a pressure. I want to start my career with the uh, RPA technology, right? So it will really help me to get a job uh, into the market as a RPA developer. So I want to extend this point into the market. Not only the jobs are available for the RPA developer. So RPA developer, RPA business analyst, RPA testing, RPA support, RPA bot monitoring, lot of, of different types of opportunities are available into the market. So based on your interest, based on your skill set, very well we will be able to get a job uh, into the market. The next point is, I'm working on a old technology. Is RPA will help me to upskill as per the market requirement? Definitely. There is a no question about here. Here I want to give my example. Right? When I was having around uh, like uh, 80 years of experience, right, near about, at that time I have started my RPA journey, right? So now there is a tremendous difference between <laughs> what I am doing currently, what I am gaining currently, and what I was doing previously. Okay. Not only me. A lot of people, they have transformed their career uh, from the legacy technologies to the RPA technology. And the last but not least, does RPA offer better growth and package? Definitely. There is a no question about it, right? So it's not the case like uh, you can trust me because I'm telling you, you can ask your friends, colleagues, uh, maybe your relatives, right? Or if you don't know, <laughs> go to the Google and search it, okay? So this is a top-notch technology. So for the top-notch technology, obviously, uh, we'll have the age as compared to the other technology, okay? So this is about who can learn the RPA. So any questions so far from anyone? Any, any question? Okay, fine. But ask as many as questions, I just said initially, make the session interactive. Okay, uh, it, it will be my pleasure to respond to your queries as well. Okay, so now uh, we, I will I will move to the next slide. Introduction to the RP, uh, UI path basically. So UI path is a number one tool into the market in terms of the RPA of field, right? So basically uh, it is a number one tool. So there are a lot of reasons are available due to the license cost, due to the flexibility, ease of automation, community, right? A lot of factors are there. That is the reason you are part being the number one tool into the RPA. Okay. So we'll move to the next slide, which is about the UI path components. So if you want to learn the UI path, okay, please make sure you should learn all the three components of the UI path, like UI path studio, UI path robot, and UI path orchestrator. So UI path studio being used to build our automated process. So we have to build automated process into the UI path studio. Uh, then next component is a UI path robot. So whatever the automation we have built that can be executed with the help of UI path robot. And UI path orchestrator is a cloud-based platform. From that platform, we can monitor the process. We can do the code uh, uh, merging there. Okay, we can keep our credentials in a secure way. We can schedule the process. So management activities we can do with the help of UI path orchestra. Okay. And the last slide maybe uh, from the theoretical point of view, like increase productivity. Okay. 
so lot of organization want to go for the rp automation so few reasons i have listed here the first one is the increased productivity okay so as a human right normally we works for 8 to 10 hours right also we will we'll take some breaks like tea break coffee break lunch break dinner break right we will we'll take lot of breaks there also we'll work uh, maybe five days in a week right also we'll take some diwali vacation ramadan vacation christmas vacation right but that is not the case with the robots the robots will be available 24 by 7 365 days without any break so just imagine the productivity difference with the humans and robots okay and if the humans are working for 8 to 10 hours and the robots are working for 8 to 10 hours there is a tremendous difference between the productivity that i can show you into the demo so please be there at the end of the session next is a improved quality assurance okay so as a human when we are doing any kind of work it might happen we can do any kind of mistake and it might be the very costly mistake from the organization point of view right but that is not the case with the robots robots will produce right 101% accurate result each and every time and forever next one is a better management capability as i said it having the centralized cloud platform basically okay uh, from there from there we can manage the processes we can schedule the processes right we can uh, upload our our processes right so that we can have its code uh, to be placed into the cloud right so we have a lot of uh, management activities that can be done with the help of uh, orchestrator and last but not least coding knowledge okay so here we required a very very limited coding knowledge or rather than i can say uh some logical knowledge okay uh, to kick start our rphr okay so this is about uh, the uh, very short about the theoretical thing uh, related to rpa so now we will move to the demo part but before that any question from anyone is anyone want to ask any question uh small uh, doubt this is sindhil from chennai yes sindhil please go ahead uh so what is the difference between ua path and the power automate okay okay fine so we will we'll, uh, explain uh, okay so you are talk- you are saying what is the difference between the ui path and power automate so there are a lot of things uh, what I, can, i i want to mention here so first thing uh, <clears throat> the ui path having the like i want to tell the ui path is the number one tool into the market because it having the more capability as compared to any other tool into the market okay no tool having such type of uh, capability right so then you will ask what type of capability right then if you want to automate any kind of uh, image based automation if you want to uh, automate any kind of citrix application vdi application mainframe application right those we can't automate with the help of a uh, power automate but on the same hand right uh, we can automate those uh, things with the help of ui okay in addition to that uh, the sap erp right so for those application it having its own connector into the ui path so the integration part will be very easy but uh, other tools are still lagging in this prospect okay so this is a very high level difference uh, i i i want to explain here uh, okay fine thank you, thank you. Uh, yes uh, abdel Hello, sir. Abdul Hamid. Yes, yes. Okay, I think you said that this point before, but uh, I want to make, to just to make sure about it. Uh, as I said, I'm in my last year in my computer science college. Uh, okay. So it's safe to uh, depend on RBA, just studying it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's safe. or uh, you advise me to learn something uh, beside it okay uh, so uh, hamid like I, i i want to tell uh, you here right so now you are a fresher basically right you are a fresher and and uh, you are in a last year once i will be fresher yeah okay you are in last year right yeah okay you are in last year and you already from the computer science background right oh yes okay you already from the computer side uh, okay so here 
right the what is the first priority the first priority is to get a job for uh, right uh, because every every graduate uh, what to get a good job basically after your graduation right so i would suggest to you, you already from the computer background right if you know this tool very well that is more than enough okay that is more than enough for you to get a entry into the rpa market yeah okay uh, if i just uh... depend on it it will be safe uh so may, 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 uh, maybe uh, i want to tell uh, one point here so i didn't get your question exactly but you was asking like this tool is is uh, more than enough right or enough just enough to get my first job <laughs> i yes yes that that is yeah. enough that is enough yeah. more okay. than enough i can say okay thank you yeah Okay. Uh, any other question, Hamid? What? Any any other question from your end? No, no, no. Thank you. It's, thank uh, you. It's, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pravin. Hello. Yes. Uh, what are the companies are uh, giving job opportunity okay. for RP? Okay. So every industry, I want to tell Chaitanya. Okay. Every industry. right uh, even uh, as i already said not only the software industry right any other industry which is exist into into the market right the, uh, they, they are looking for uh, rp uh, professionals right uh, suppose i have learned uh, in your institute uh, ui path okay. and uh, companies are selected me and uh, i have to work on power automate mm -hmm. then uh, it is typical to me no 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 okay no so i want to tell everyone right uh, all the tools okay all the tools are basically uh, right built on a same concept okay all the tools are built on a same concept and it's a tool okay so the concept is more important so if you are able to understand any one tool properly right uh, and then if you want to learn any other tool right very well you can learn by your own also or or very minimal training okay so it's not a case even the what organization will do they will take your interview and they will check your uh, ui path knowledge for example and then they will ask like uh, currently we are having uh, the automation anywhere project or the power automate project right so if you are showing the willingness to to learn that definitely you will get hired so that is not a show stopper actually chatan uh sir after completing uh, uh, this uh, rpa training uh companies will not give very chance uh, to fresh student no no who said who said to you uh, i have searched in nokru.com many of the companies are uh, giving it free no 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 so for, so uh, it's, it's not only nokru.com right so that is the reason people are coming to us okay so we we are having a lot of opportunities uh, from our end okay because we are the pioneer uh, into the rp and whatever you are searching on the nokri so nokri also there are a lot of opportunities are available maybe uh, like you can you can connect me uh, at any point of time i will share my uh, contact number and i will i will show you as well okay sir thank you yeah thank you okay any other question from anyone okay no worries so what we will do uh, we will we'll go for the demo right so first i will explain you what the thing we are uh, going to see as a demo okay so this is like a government website okay our india government website it will give the covid 19 status okay it will give the covid 19 status so what i want to do here right i want to launch this uh url into into the particular browser after that i want to take uh the state name total confirmed cases keyword discharge migrated cases death cases whatsapp chatbot url facebook chatbot url right so i want to take all the information from this uh application okay after that i want to put this information into the excel excel file and once it is done right what i want to do i want to send a email to the a uh, respective person okay i want to share the email to the respective person right so this is the process i want to automate and here it is not about like any web application any excel or email automation we can automate any kind of we can automate any kind of software basically okay we can automate any kind of software okay 
this is just for the demo purpose so this is not limited to those two to three application okay so this is our manual process for example so just imagine just imagine if you want to take all the data manually right how much time it will take at least it will take one and a half uh, to two hours but after doing this also there is no guarantee of the uh like it, it we will get an accurate result and also it will take at least one and a half to two hours at a time right similar way if you are going to automate the help of uh, rp uh, tool ui path right it will take hardly 30 to 40 seconds to take all the <coughs> along with the 100 percent accuracy so just see the productivity difference right where is like one and a half to two hours and where is like 30 to 40 seconds okay so now i, I will run it and i will uh, show you the demo okay okay so what we will do uh, i am going to run it so by the way this is a ui path studio okay from where we have to uh, run our processes okay so i will go here i already built the processes the process that i will show you after that i will show you how to build it okay and if you want to build this process hardly it will take five minutes to explain everything to you so you will get a, a idea like how easy it will now it has launched this uh, particular browser it is capturing all the information from here after that it will it will put this information into the excel file and then we will send an email address. okay so it, it's it's taking the information uh, from from this application my system is little slow so it can take 5 10 second more as compared to normal time right but not not more than that okay so you can see my process is completed now see the output uh, here it, it it will show the time it has taken the 39 seconds okay it has taken just 39 seconds to complete that that particular task right and now uh, we will go and we'll see the output as well okay we'll see the output okay. so we'll go we will go to the my email id okay the mail is not yet received maybe it's taking some time okay okay so you can see uh my outlook is still sending the email okay so that is the reason it it, it might, might be a little delayed okay but it will it will share all the information via email as well. okay so once it is done we will get a email as well okay and also meantime i want to share the output as well so this is the output you can see the time uh, so date and time today's date and time and we can see the output okay see we got this output along with this url right those urls even which is not directly visible to our eyes right so uipath was able to capture this uh, information as well from this particular application so now maybe you will get little understanding like how the tool is powerful basically okay now what i will do i will show you how to automate okay how to automate this particular process right so we'll go to the ui path right ui path studio basically and we'll sh show you how to download okay fine so this is my uh, ui path studio on the left hand side you can see uh, those are the activities or actions right which we have to use uh, during the automation we can just provide the input and we can take the output so everything is ready here right we don't need to do any any other thing so what is the first step we have to launch the browser okay so go here and just type open browser right so take this activity here right and here what it is mentioned insert url here text must be quoted so we can give the url which we want to open okay so i want to open this url what is the next step the next step is i want to open this url in particular browser right so what i will do i will select the browser type as a chrome from the left hand side properties so i have selected it as a chrome but if you want to open uh, it in any other browser like firefox or maybe edge ie right very well we can select so i have selected it as a chrome okay what is the next step the next step is we have to gather the information from this application then we have to 
put into this information into Excel and send the email. So we'll, we'll do that. But before that, we'll capture the information. So here we are having the data scrapping. Okay, just click on the data scrapping. As soon as you click on the data scrapping, it will show you this blah blah information like your browser should be open, uh, data should be available. It will say click on the next. Okay, just click on the next. I clicked on the next. After that, we want to get a information. So for example, I want to get the state name. So I'm going to highlight the first state. You can see the border, right? That yellow color, light yellow color border. So just click here. I click here. As soon as I click here, what it is say? Click on the second element. So click next, click on the second record. Now maybe you people are thinking, if you want to take all the state name, do we have to click on all the state? No. We have to click only two state so that UI path can understand the pattern. Okay, UI path can understand the pattern in which pattern he has to capture the data. Okay, and it will give the tabular information, table format. That is the reason I have given this name here, table name, and click on the next. Can you see? It has captured all the state which are available on this particular. Page. Okay, after that, I want to capture the total confirmed cases so i will click on extract correlated data i will click on first record then ui path will say click on the second record i'm going to click on the second record. okay and here we have to give the column name because it will give the information in a tabular format okay so click on the next can you see all the total confirmed cases are available here right all the total confirmed cases are available then you you people can say a uh, similar way we can do with the QR discharge migrated cases, dead cases, and this URLs as well, right? But how to capture this URL, even though which is not directly visible to us, right? So we can click on extract correlated data. We can click on the first URL. Next, click on the second URL, right? And here we can give the column name, like WhatsApp chatbot URL. And here we will not use the extract text. We'll use the extract URL. Okay. Extract URL. Click on the next. Can you see? Right. And click on the finish. As soon as you click on the finish, what it is asking? Do you have the data on the multiple pages? If you have the data on the multiple pages, very well we can take the data from multiple pages as well. Okay. So see the capability. It is not restricted to the uh, this particular page. And Sentil uh, want to tell one more difference here, right? The uh, Power Automate, right? It can take the data only from the two pages, okay? Not more than the two pages, right? But here we don't have such restriction here. We can go to the n number of pages. So, right? I'm going to click no because we have the data on only one page, right? So I will click on the no. So can you see? It has created this automated flow. In addition to that, it has created the variable also, variable name. Okay, on top of that, it has set the variable type also. So just see how the tool is powerful. So variable is nothing but a container where we can store the data, right? Which we are going to capture from this particular application. Okay, what is the next step? The next step is we have to write the information into the Excel file. Okay, so use this write range. Okay, write range. Now, the next step is here, we have to give the path of the file, Excel file in which we want to write it, okay? Even the file is not available, right? We can just give the file name, right? It will create the file also. Then sheet, in which sheet we want to write. If the sheet is available, that is fine. Not available, it will create sheet as well. Now it will ask the uh, data table, okay? Means what we want to write. So we can give the output of this extract data table as a input here, right? And the last step is, the last step is we have to send the email, okay? So we can use a send outlook, okay? Send outlook mail message, okay? So irrespective of any industry, everyone is aware about the email functionality, right? So here I want to give the two email ID to whom I want to send the email. So I will give the test at directtest.com. So the mail will get sent to that, that particular person, okay? After that, we have to give the subject, right? We, we can give this COVID report, okay? And then body, 
right so we can give the body as well, right so we can go here and we can mention hello team okay please see the attach covid report okay and then we can mention thanks you are part robot you are part robot right so we can write it here and the last step is remaining what we have to do we have to attach the file also the file which we want to share via email so what we can do we can go here and we can give the path of this file so what will happen while sending the email okay while sending the email uh, your file will get shared along with the your email so can you see by using this four simple step okay by using this four simple step uh, exp by explaining you people right it took only 5 minutes right so that is the reason because of this capability this rpa being getting popular day by day okay so this is about uh, from demo point of view as well so any question on this demo from anyone fine perfectly fine no question fine no question from my side okay central thank you explanation okay so if anyone has the question please ask uh, then we'll move to the next thing okay fine uh, i think you people are understood it okay i'm hoping uh, then we'll come to the next point right so our next batch right our next ui path uh, batch is going to start from the 27th uh, 27th uh, of, of this month right and it will be the morning batch right uh, 9 to 12 IST basically morning 9 a.m. to 12 noon IST right it will be the three hours of a session uh, and this sessions will be on a weekend okay it will be on a weekend Saturday and Sunday both the days okay three hours Saturday three hours Sunday and the duration will be around 32 to 34 hours of duration uh, will, will be there for uh, this session and this session right uh, we have we have design our syllabus in in a such way that right even though if you are a fresher even though you are an experienced people right so it will help you to move into the rpa right in addition to that within this course you will be get a chance to work on at least 15 plus live scenario right so that if you are appearing for the interview you can appearing uh like uh maybe any any technical test okay or if you are going to start your rpa projects in any of the organization right you should be able to do that right so at least we will cover 15 plus live scenario every session for every session you will get a uh, recording as well the session recording so that uh if you want to refer at any point of time you can refer it there is a no problem okay also here we are not going to uh, teach you only the UI part basically, right? So we are grooming in all the aspects. Okay, we are we are going to groom your all the aspects. Like uh, maybe I can explain here. So uh, we'll we'll give you live scenario. Also, we'll help you to to prepare your CV if you are a fresher. Will guide you how to prepare your CV. If you are an experienced person, will guide you how to show your experience. Uh, into the RPA, right? So that you should be able to uh, jump into the RPA technology. Also, we'll give you uh, 200 plus question and answer so that it will help you, right? Also, uh, right, as, as I said, uh, we'll guide you in terms of a real time scenario, interview question answer, uh, sample CVs, right? And also, we are having the job assistance as well. So we are a pioneer in into the RPA, as I said. Since 2016, uh, we are in this field. So we have a lot of friends, colleagues, a partners, right? So whatever the jobs are coming, uh, uh, right? The RPA jobs uh, specifically, they are they are coming to us, and we are referring our uh, emerging student, uh, emerging tech students uh, there. Okay. So this is about uh, course content point of view. Any question uh, on this? Okay, uh, so what is the cost? So cost is uh, 15,000. Okay, the cost is 15,000 per student. Okay. 
No, no. <laughs> no, no. It's in Indian rupees. Okay, it's in Ayana. I can. Okay. Any no, question? I'm asking it, uh, how it costs in dollar. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, dollar maybe we have to calculate. Uh, okay, so dollar maybe we can we can say around uh, 150, 150 dollar, around 150 dollar, 150 to 170 dollar. 150 dollar? Yes, around. 50. Maybe maybe you can connect with me. Uh, we will we'll tell you the exact uh, dollar price. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, and and here I'm giving my. Uh, like a calling number along with the WhatsApp number as well. Okay. So if you people don't want to talk here or, or you don't want to discuss anything in front of everyone, very well, you can call me or you can uh, WhatsApp me as well. You can DM me, right? Uh, then uh, like we can, we can discuss more on, on uh, your questions or uh, I, will, I will be able to answer it. So I have given my uh, number, okay? I, I given my contact number into the group chat. So very well, you can, you can take it from here. Okay, mm -hmm. and also uh, like if you if you want to talk about the placement point of view, so these are the recent uh, placements which happened uh, from the emergent day. So that we want to, there are a lot of uh, uh, placements are there, but we'll not able to share everything here. So we have listed few, and we have given some success story as well. So what are those people have shared with us? Right. Even if you want to go, uh, you can view our uh, Emergent Tech YouTube channel as well. So those people have given their feedback as well uh, in terms of video. Right. So you can you can go and you can see on our Emergent Tech channel. As well. Right. And also, if you want to see the syllabus, right, if you want to go and see the syllabus very well, you, you can go uh, to our Emergent Tech. OK, Emergent Tech website. Okay, you can go to the Emergent Tech website. Uh, here you can go to the trainings, go to the UiPath training, right? Here, here you will be able to get the syllabus, whatever we are going to cover in our sections. Okay. Any question? Okay, so I'm not sure <laughs> like uh, why you don't have the question. But that's fine. That's fine. Uh, if you don't have any question, it's perfectly fine. So as I said, I have already given my contact number along with the WhatsApp number. If you have any queries, any doubt, feel free to ask uh, any, any queries to me. Right. Uh, then second thing, if you people are interested, OK, if you people are interested and you are thinking to join the batch, right, we have limited seats are available. So if you are interested, maybe you can put your name into the group chat. So I will ask the respective person to connect with you. Okay, so you can post into the uh, our group chat as well, right? So that's that's all from my side. Uh, so any question, any doubt? Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, please. हाँ sir, placements का आप मतलब कैसे करते हो? Nokia. dot com पे proper update कर देते हो क्या? नहीं 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 नहीं. See see uh, what what we are doing basically here. Uh, we are having right this rpa practitioner group okay we are having this rpa practitioner group mm. and where we are we are posting the jobs uh, on a daily basis which uh, we, we are coming in in our way see, see daily daily we are we are we are having having the job posting mm -hmm. batch size kya rahega, sir uh batch size like maximum okay maximum like 20 people okay not more than Normally, there are very less scenario. It can be 20. Okay. Uh, but I'm telling you maximize because uh, maximum uh, strength, right? Because what happens? Uh, there are few people uh, who they missed the uh, previous sessions or something or if anyone was saying like I want to repeat it, right? So we we'll allow those people to join us without without any cost. So that is the reason I'm telling it's around maximum 20. Okay. Hmm. Fine. Any any other question? Uh, sir, in between, I asked, uh, what would be the maximum strength per batch? 
okay so i think the same question i will last question from rishi i i so, last uh, that yeah. okay okay so as i said maximum 20 okay maximum okay ideally it, it's not going uh, like a beyond the 15 okay but why i'm taking the 20 because uh, the people from the previous batch right if they miss any session or if they want to repeat that particular session right those people join sometimes that is the reason i said maximum fair enough okay thank you thank you okay fine then uh, so maybe if you few people don't have any uh, doubt or questions right uh, we can conclude the session right but uh, as i already said if you want uh, to know any anything more or if you want to discuss uh, anything related to syllabus related to your doubts i have given my contact numbers okay so we will we will conclude here and thank you so much uh, for for joining the session okay Have a good night. See you Bye. soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you so much, Ben. Yeah. Thank you.